So we'll continue with the modules and packages concept. So in the previous session, what we have understood? What did we learn in the previous session? Yeah. Lambda map printer. And then? Modules. Modules. modules in Python, where we studied inbuilt modules, correct? In built model. So everyone has done that math, whatever I had asked you to do. Math module, you have to find out the function, if it's a function or a constant. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. In that, how many constants are present? Can you tell me? Uh, ma'am, uh, almost uh, there is a uh, function except e and pi. E and pi as object. So import math, if I have to check what is there in math module, here you can see uh, as she said, she is right, e is a constant and pi is a constant. Other than that, rest all are almost functions or methods like that, whichever I had asked you to uh, find out. So the one who has not done has to complete it, who has not completed, okay? So that was uh, what we were studying about inbuilt module. So what is a module then? It's a collection of functions, you can say, or collection of uh, functions, methods, and names. What kind of names means other objects, correct? So same way as we have now got to know what is a module. So according to us, what's a module? Module is collection of functions, uh, methods, objects. This is my module, correct? And any block of code like that. So now in module, we understood there are some inbuilt modules also. How do you get the list of inbuilt modules? You will say help and this modules. If you run it in uh, interpreter, you will get to know the list. It will not only give you the inbuilt modules, all the module list it will give you. So today we'll come with, uh, start with user defined modules, user module. So let's try to write the user defined module, try to import it like that. Yes. So uh, what's a module? The other day also I have said, if you open a new file and try to save it, it will come in some default, default path, correct? I will just copy this path. Why you will get to know? I'm just copying it. I've copied it. I will save here as mod1, saving it and the path I am going to save here. I am just going to paste it here. Why is that data you will get to know? So right now, user module I have saved in the default path. Default path, okay? Which is the default path? This is the default path in my system. So this path comes where you install that ideally, okay? So this is the default path. How do you know the default path? When you open a new file and try to save it, the first path that it shows, suppose you open another new file, yes, try to save it, this path comes, just click here and copy the path as of now. Just do that. So here I have saved the file, my file, mod1 I have named, yes? So what I'm doing here, I am trying to write a module. How does a module look? What all it will have? Module has function, module has methods, module has objects, and any uh, print statements, input statements like that. So what will I do then? Do we know what is method means? We don't know what is a method, right? So we'll just write some functions here. I will say define, I'll write addition function like that, addition. And function. This is only for understanding, and I am returning the addition value. So that means here I need two variables to collect. What are these parameters? So I am copying it. I will write one more.
x and y at the top. Okay, and the and here what I do, I am doing this. What is this? Is this comment? If you write a function, it's a add documentation string. This is addition function that returns sum after adding. So how to use it also? I'm showing addition. I want to say x and y. Okay, let's do it. Why I'm doing this also, you will understand. This is addition function that we've done sum after adding. Let's two after uh, two numbers x comma y maybe this is my documentation string for this addition same i'm going to do for subtraction also Action function that returns difference. It accepts two numbers x and y. Here I give this is prototype. I will mention it as the syntax. Okay, for it, because it is a function, I will say prototype. That means how it is. Okay, so what all is there in both the functions and observe that in this entire module, I mean in this entire file, I have only definitions. I am not calling it, I am not executing it, keep that in mind. Yes, correct. And before this, maybe I will say, I will give something statement like uh, this is a module. In fact, this file is only a module. What's the proof? Here, when you say run, what it says? Run module. That means, till now, whatever files we were executing, all were modules only. Yes? But did we use that importing manner and all? No, just we executed them. So, we did not find out the difference that it was a module like that. So, this file is a module now. What all do you write in this? You have written so many things. Before also, you have executed all the operators, you have executed functions, uh, loops, everything you have done. So, file is a module. This way you can understand. But a typical module will contain what all it contains functions, methods, objects, like that. What is the proof? I have shown you the inbuilt module. Check here. What all it has? Some inbuilt special names and few other names out of which few are constants, few are methods, few are functions. So same way I want to do it for a user-defined module. Saving it, user-defined module. So in my user-defined module now what is that? There is a print statement and I will define one constant. What shall we do? We'll define a constant. Okay. It is like pi and e. In how math module e is there, which is a constant, and pi is there. Here I am defining s. Pi constant, that means I am giving a name. You think like that. Yes? Okay. So now in our module, what all do we have? We have a print statement. We have an object. Which kind of object? str. We have two functions. Okay. Now, if I run this, Simply I run now. What all will be the output? Run it. It will only give you the print statement. How you are running a file, you are doing that. 
Now here what we did see, you imported the module and there are four ways to import. I have shown you that also. And then if you have to use any function here, how will you use? Math dot you will write. And you will take the help of that also. Same I will now show it to you for our module. So what I do? I will just restart the shell because already here the module has come. So I will not use this. I will just restart the shell. Okay. Now what is my module name? I am just saving it. What is my module name? Mod 1. Okay. So how to import the module? There are four methods. The first one we run out. What is the name? Mod 1. I will just give enter. Okay. Before this, let me take the IR. What all are there? Okay, I will just close this and open it. Let me take the IR. What all will come? Language defined special names will come. Correct? Yes? Okay. Now I have to import that module. How do you import? Import. And the name, what's the name? Mod 1. Now, when you imported that, did any lines get executed there? No. Now, check. One line is getting executed. Why? Because in our module, there is a print statement. So, it is getting executed. That means in that math module and any inbuilt module generally, there are no print statements. Correct? Okay. Now, I say DIR of mod 1. The same way how you did it for math. So what all should come here? If you give DIR of mod 1. Where mod 1 is a module. What all was there in the module? Print anyhow it will not say you that there is a print statement. It will list all the functions. It will list all the methods and the constants. So what all we have there? Addition, subtraction and S. Check. Addition, subtraction, S. And because these are your language defined inbuilt names that will come. For any module you create, it comes by default. And because it is in an alphabetical order, S first and then S U. So all are there. Okay. Now what I want? I want to know what is addition. I want to know what is yes. I want to know what is subtraction. What do you do? You will take help. R1 dot. See if you give dot and wait, it will show you everything. How you are doing it for str list like that? I'll take addition. Tell me what it will say. If you take help, what will it say? It will show the addition. No, you have not called it. What help it will give? Ah, what it will give? Did you say something about addition there? Have you said? You have said no. You have put a documentation. You have said no. Hmm. That means here what it will come. It will give you the documentation only. Read now. Help on function addition in which module? In our module. What it says? See, name of the function it is giving exact what I have written in the documentation that it is printing. So now you got to know prototype is like this. It is a function that returns sum. It will return the sum. Keep that in mind. And it accepts two numbers. Okay. So now here I want to execute this. How will you execute addition? Can you directly use? Can you directly call addition? No. You should call it after this name. And because it is a function, you need to call it. See, when you use here, it is saying x and y. That means you need to pass two variables or argument or numbers. I will say this. Now it says it will return the sum. So if I use this, directly it will execute that function. Or you can use like this and collect the sum. So only print will get executed. Print statement is there. So only print is coming. Return value of that gets collected in C. Because you collected back. Whenever a function returns to collect, you need a variable. I taught you that. 
So this is your user defined function uh, module. So same you can do with subtraction also. I will take the help. Subtraction. What it gives? Exactly what you have written there as a documentation. It is showing. You both are able to see. Yeah, that you are able to see. Okay. Then how to use it? Maybe I will take this. I will call three minus five because inside there is a print statement there. It executed that and returned you the value. Now how do you get information about S? You want to know what is S? Now if you take S, what it says? No Python documentation found for this. You have just given S and written something. Did you document it? No. Then what to do with this then? Then maybe that means it might be a, a simple, what is it? It might be a object. Just try to print it. How will you print it? How to access yes with the module name and then dot yes. You ISNU. If you simply give yes, now will it come? No. Why? Because you imported the module, not the name inside that. The first method will only import the name of the module. So that if you have to use S, which is inside the module, you have to write module name dot that name which you want to access. So this is how you make a user defined module. Any doubt? Any doubt? Online students? Pushpanjali no, clear? No ma'am. No, ma Are you clear? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now I'll do something. What I'll do? Think and you should answer. Okay. So what I'm doing is I will okay, let S be there. I'm not returning the value now. I'm printing here itself. The sum is. Think what I'm doing. Sum is. Will directly. Print the sum. I'm just saving it. Okay. Now if I save. And call it here. The way you have called it. Where it is here. Right now, what it should do? It should say print. I mean, it should print inside add function, and it should print the sum is. It shouldn't print like this, correct? It shouldn't return the value. That means whatever changes I have done, are they getting affected? I just now have changed the module. I changed this, right? I am not returning now. I have used a print statement. That means I made changes in the module, but still, why it is not getting reflected? Why it is not getting reflected? The previous one is only you are getting. Think and tell me. I just show you something. I will restart the shell. I am restarting the shell. I will import the module again. Now if I do this. Now the changes are getting affected. Before it didn't. Why? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't get you. Sorry. Repeat. Like uh, somewhere, somewhere in programming language, we need to clear. So same yeah, okay. So here what why is it happening like that? I will tell you. Okay. Importing means what we are doing. 
had explained you this that first time only when uh, we imported keyword module. Where is keyword? Okay, assume this is your space right now. The current space, current space, and where is the module present? It is somewhere else. Whichever module it may be. Now it is mod one. Okay. Now, when you import this, what did I say? A copy of that will come to your space. A copy of that will come to your space. That means in this current space now, you will get that module whose copy you are getting. Correct? You imported it. You have worked on it. Now, what did I do? Second time, I changed here. I made changes here. Did you import again? No. You just continued here. So changes are they getting infected? You when you import, that means it's like you're making a copy. So did you change the copy? You changed in the original module. So then how did it get infected? No, no, right? That is why when you restarted the shell, that means this got erased now. Second time when you imported this new one came, and that's why the changes got reflected. One thing, okay. Now what I want, without restarting the shell itself, I want the changes also to get reflected. So what should be done? What I'm saying, try to understand. Without restarting the shell itself, I want the changes to get reflected. Now already I changed. I will make another change. Of some function. I have saved it. You need to save it. Keep that in mind. Okay. I have made change again. I am just minimizing it. Now I will run it again. Will the changes get reflected? No. Why? That means again you should restart the shell. You should restart the shell. Again you need to import. See, when you do like this and import it again. No. No. You imported one time. Again, you are importing means the same copy will come, not the new copy. For the changes to get reflected, you need to restart the shell. Clear all this previous one first, then again import. But now, what is my intention? Without restarting the shell, here itself, I want the changes to get reflected. For which in Python there is a concept called as module reloading. So you can reload the module. That means without restarting the shell, you can reload the module. So that module will get reloaded so that when you run again, the changes will get reflected. So how to reload a module is what you have to understand. Why is this first? Let's make a point. Changes the module get reflected in the shell. Okay. If you restart anyhow, it will work without that. that. You can reload. And why I have reloaded this? Imported and worked with similar to inbuilt models. Work with inbuilt models, and you can work with user models. But it should be in a default path right now. That means in some specific path it is, which is the path as soon as you save it, the path that comes, your right now module is in the default path. Okay. okay. So now how to reload is what you have to understand. For that, you need to import another module first. I'll say what is it. 
Reload is a module. How reloading will be done? For that, you need to import a module called as import lib in which there is some name called as reload so that you will reload. I will explain what is it. So what should be done? How to import? How to reload a module? For that, you need to import another module called as import lib. This is one of the input module. In the list, I just show you. Import lib. See this saying is data movement until it needs all the available modules. So we'll see our module is also there or no? MOD1 that should also come in the list and inbuilt modules also should come. And the new module just now which I'm saying import list that also should come. So it's alphabetical order. So we'll go to I first. I it's there. Our module should also come. Mod1 is the name. It's also there. Okay, so it's giving you a list of modules. Fine. So what should be done first? You have to import the module called as import lib. And then in import lib module, there is some name called as reload. Reload. You should call that. It's a function. Inside you should write the module name that you want to reload. This is the procedure to reload the module. What will you do? You need to first import a module called as import lib, then call a function which is there in the import lib module called as reload and pass module name as the argument which you want to reload. Now which module I want to reload? I have not restarted the shell yet. Okay, I have not restarted the shell. See, it was last restart was here. And here we saw that changes are not getting reflected. So what should we do now? I should import a module. What all are there? Just give a dot and wait. It will give you the list. It says import module invalidate catches uh, underscore underscore import in which we want reload. So what is that? I don't know what is that. So let me take a help first. I will take a help first. What it says? It is a function. Just now I said it's a function. It is in the module import lib. How to use? It reloads the module and returns back the reloaded module. Where will you pass the module name? In the as an argument. To do this, the module must have been successfully imported before. Have you imported other module before or not? Yes. Please check here. Okay, we had imported it somewhere. Then only you can reload it. If you don't import a module and try to reload, it's not success. Yes? Okay. So we have done that. Now how to use it? I will take this. I will say reload. I should pass my module name. What's the name? Mod1. Mod1. And before doing this, see to it that this your file is saved. And if you make any changes, it comes a star, right? That means it's in still writing. So you need to save it. Just save it and don't do anything else. You need to save it. Then only the changes will get reflected there. Save. So what is that? One extra line I have written here. Okay. Now what I'll do? I'll just reload. When I reload, in the module where changes was done, that everything got reloaded. Now, because my module had a print statement, it executed 
and it is showing you the path from where it reloaded. Now, what was the path? I saved the path. Where I have saved the path? Is it showing the same path? Yes. Check. It is showing the same path. That means it is saying from this, it has reloaded a module this. Now, can I run? Now, I will run the addition function where I have made the changes. I just read the numbers. Now, check. All the three lines are coming in. I will make some changes to sub function. Right now, first I just call sub. Just giving this two statements. Now I'll make some changes here. What I'll say, return. I let it return. I will write one more print statement. Return. Returns the difference. Absolutely. Now, if I run subtraction function again, will the changes get reflected? No. That means you have to. Now, already this you have imported. So, you just reload it. Reload. Now, you can run it. Now, the change is getting reflected. So, this is without restarting the shell. If you restart, everything will work normally. So, but you should know this concept reloading, module reloading. Clear? Any doubts? Any doubt? Pratima, is it clear? No, no. Now, why did I take this? First, because it was my default path and I had saved my module there. It was not in any other path, wherever I wanted. Now, what I will do? I will module, user module in different path. Okay, we'll write it first. Now this is done, this is clear. Reloading is same everywhere, even if you change the path or keep the path. Okay, I'm just closing it. This. And I'm closing this by also, which was there in default path. I'm just closing it. Now I will create a module in a different path that is not other than default path. So save. When I save it, don't save it here. In the default path, don't save it. Save it somewhere else. Maybe I'll save it here in E. I will make a folder. Mod. In this, I will say, okay, I will say mod div. So that I understand it's a different path. What shall we do? We'll again write some functions. Now here I'll write multiply and division. Only to make you understand, you can write anything. So now, 
not written any documentation string here. Just the function I have written. I have saved it now. What's the name? Uppercase M O D underscore D I F F. This is the name. I want to import it. Let's import it. Uppercase M O D underscore. Before doing this, let's check. Let's check. Uppercase, so yeah, everywhere it's lower case. If it's uppercase, generally it comes somewhere here. It's not there. It's not available. That means in this module list, it is not coming. That is first point. Now I will. I'll open again. I will try to import it. What's the name? Exact name will write. Uppercase mod underscore diff. Uppercase mod underscore diff. It should get imported. What it says? It throws you an error. This is a new error name. You can write down module not found error. M N F N D R uppercase. Write it down. It's a new error. Can you tell me why are you getting an error? Because the module is not in default character. By default, it is the default character. Yeah. Module you have written, but still it is saying it is not found. Why? First time where I had saved it in a default path. Now I have saved it somewhere else. Does that mean you cannot work with this? You can work with this. With this, you need to understand something. What you need to understand? Again, I will show you something. What you should understand is, whenever in your this, if you write in code and say any module, you give a name. I said it will be present somewhere. Where it will be present? There are some specified paths in the system where it will keep searching. I will say this is path 1, path 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. As if there are some 8 paths. What is this? This is your paths. This is also in the system only. I am talking like as if this is a collection. It is in some system path. Example, some eight paths are there. What it will do? What name you have written here? It will come to this path first. Search is it here? As if it is not there. Goes to the second path. Searches here. Not there. Comes here. Searches here. Not there. Comes here. Searches here. Not there. Comes here. Searches here, not there, comes here, maybe it is here. Which is this? This is some system defined inbuilt path already. Which are those I will say you, but just understand. Assume it is here. Then it will import it successfully. That means the next line comes. Assume it is not even here. Okay, comes, next path searches, comes, next path searches. In none of the system paths it is available, then it comes back and says it is there. That is for sure. What error it will say? Module not found error. When do you get that error? When in this condition, in none of the system defined paths, there are some specific paths. If it's not then in any of that, it will throw you an error here. What's the error? Module not found error. So you can write down in front of that error. When do you get that error? When module is not defined in a specific system path. Then you get that error. Else you will not get the error. Another, 
Another possibility is when you give a wrong model name, it cannot come. But right now for us, I gave a correct module name. Then why it is still not coming? Because it is not there in the specified part. So two, two things are there where you get an error. Which error? Module not defined error. First one, if the module name is only wrong. When I had written the first module, what was the name? It was mod 1, correct? Now I just write mod. Is mod there? Not there. Instead of writing 1, I gave a wrong name. It is in the specified directory. If I do this, it will import the module. Now I am trying to give a wrong name. Then also it will say the same error. So there are two possibilities where you get this error. First one is you give a wrong module name or if the module is not there in a specified system defined path. Okay. So that's why you are getting an error. But still you want to work with it. So what shall we do? We shall understand where which are these paths and who has defined it. Who has defined it? No. Why user will be? Who has defined it? There is some object called as path. P A T H. So who is that? There is someone called as path. It's an object. Which kind of object you will understand? Who holds the system? Specified paths where modules are defined. Modules can be defined and imported easily. Okay, where this path is present? If I I will just say DIR. Do you find path here? That means that path object is not there in the current namespace. It is somewhere else. Where is it? It is present in an object who holds this. This object. Where it is present is present in a module. Called as sys. Other day I had said sys is one of the module which you will come across. So you have come across. So why you came to this module now? This is an inbuilt module. Inside that there is an object called as path. Like how in my module I have defined yes. Yes. Correct? Same way in this module there is a object called as path. This is a inbuilt module. What does this object hold? It will hold all the system specified paths where modules can be defined and they can be imported easily with import keyword. And imported easily with import keyword. Right. So now let's see which all paths are here. What are they? Here, whatever I was mentioning, like 1, 2, 3, 4 names I had given, now we will see the path. So what should you do? You should import first that module. Because that module is also not there in a directory. Import it. Then inside this, what all is there? How do you get to know? You will write DIR. See, so many things are there. There are so many things. Whatever we want is it there? Check. Path is there. So what we want, it is there right now. Just concentrate on that. Now you want to know what is path. Or you want to print what is path. How to print? Print. 
She is I have imported. You want to use car? Can you directly use? No. Thank you, sir. Now, when you wait here, is it giving you any suggestion? Or if you do like this, is it giving you any suggestion? Here itself, you will understand it's not a function. Simply print it. Tell me what kind of path it is. I mean, what kind of object it is. Is it string, list, tuple, dictionary, or integer, complex number? What it is? List. list. It's a list. How? Check. Square. 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 And from one to this, which all kinds of elements are there in the list? Where? Where do you find four? All are string only, no? All are strings? Check. Here to here, it's one string. Here to here, it is another string. What are those strings? Those itself are the system defined paths. Are you understanding? Now check, is that path where we had saved the file present? Previously, this path is it present? Uh, app data, local, program, Python, Python 310. It is then, here. First line is still continuation. From here to here is the path. It is there. Check this. This is that path. Where first time I had saved that module. So because in any one of this path you had saved, you could directly import them. Now where did I save the module? Open the file. Check E drive. It's an E drive. Check the path object. Is the E drive there? This is C. This is also C. This is also C. 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 And there is something like this. That means it's nowhere here. That means you cannot directly import now. Correct. You cannot directly import. Then what should you do? That path you should add here. So, path is what kind of object? Path is a list object, no? List. All the elements are uh, lists, uh, sorry, strings. So, this is the object where every element is a string, which is nothing but the path itself. Okay. Now, which is your path? Here it is. This path you need to copy now. How do you copy? How to copy this path? This path you should type it there, no? How to type? So what you do is go to your file, open the E drive. In that I had created one module like this, and here it was. Click here, you will get the path. So that you directly go here. Okay, just copy it. And as of now, you save it somewhere. User module. I'll write the example. Save in this path. This is the path. I mean, this is not there. Okay, this is the folder. So till here, inside this, you have that. What's the name? Memory underscore dot Yes, you got the path. Now tell me, this is a list object. To this list object, you should add the path. How to add? Will you define it again? If you define this again, the previous path will get erased, which you shouldn't be doing. All this should be there, and the new path also should be added, which is the list operation that you want to use. Where you can add to the list, existing list. Which operation you will use? You will use append function. Path to this you want to append. Yes? How to append? What do you want? You want this path which you want to add. So just take it. Here to here, add this much. Don't add the file. 
only the path you should add. So I am just copying it. That slash will come in part one. Yeah, slash will come. After that, After slash. That. slash. No, not needed. We'll run it and check. It will show another. Okay. Now, what kind of object you can add? I mean, what type of element you can add? All are string. That means you should make it a string first. Don't forget this. And observe here it is double slash. So keep a double slash. Okay, I have given a double slash. But add it from here to here. That is. See here that in the end there is no slash again. That means this much is enough. At the end you don't have to give slash. Now check path. What all will be there in the path? Your path has also one. Now you import the module. How to import? Import. Module underscore DIFF imported. Now it is successful. Why? It starts finding out here, 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 everywhere it came. It came at the last here. Here it was there. So it has imported. What is there in mod? You have division, multiplication. Now you want to work with one of that or both of them. Something uh, open it. It's not giving me any suggestion. Why? Because you didn't document that. You didn't document. It. So how will it suggest you? We didn't document. So that means now we know already what we have to do. So just pass through numbers. So it is executing that. Same you can do for multiplication. It will execute that. Done. Now you can make a change. Any change? I will make. Yeah. Just run. End drop. I made a change. I saved it. I'm just minimizing it. I want this function. Is the change getting reflected? Is the change getting reflected? Three times I have done. Now only two lines. Then you need to reload. How to reload? Import. Import tape. In import tape, there is a function. Write which module you want to import. Write a proper name here. Don't make any mistake. This is my module name. Reloaded. Now what it says? Module from this path you reloaded. This was possible because you have added here. Now run the function. Change is getting reflected. So if you write a module and keep it in any of these paths, you don't have to that means you can directly import them. If you do other than this, any of the other path, you need to add it first. How to add it? Add the path. There is a list of object called as path, where it is present in a module called as sys. Sys is the inbuilt module. Import it to this because it is a list of object. Append that path. Then you can import your module which is there in that directory. Okay, now I have one question which you need to answer. This path is Where is it? Two, two times you can add it. Okay, let me do. You have this path here. Correct? If I do it only in E drive, will it run? The actual path is this much. That means whatever module I will save, it should be in E drive. And the folder called as python underscore encoding. Now what I will do? 
I will open a new file and new module. I will not save it in Python mod. I will only save it in Midland. I am saving here. I am not saving inside this. I am not saving here. I am just coming outside it and saving here. Mod 1, 2, 3. This is my name. Okay. And here I will just write a print statement. This is a module in Internet. Just one print statement I am writing. I am minimizing. Question is if I import it, what's the name? Mod 1, 2, 3. Yes. Will it run or no? Or it should throw an error? You added this path, but right now your module is only till here. I mean, in this path, it's not in that. So it throws an error or not? It should throw an error. It will throw an error. That means when you add the path, you need to be careful. Even if one folder you no, miss, it gives you an error. Now you add it, add the path. Running. Make some change to check. I saved it. Now I'm trying to import. Because you made the change, you need to reload. Reload it. Already it is import, right? So you don't have to import again. Already because only print statement is there, it is executing. That means if you say like this, now it won't come. Here there is a print statement. So it's running anyhow already. So totally few points. What all in a user, uh, sorry, inbuilt modules we have already worked with. User module in a specific path. Where is it present? Here. It is here. And how to reload. This much you need to in module concept. Inbuilt modules, few. One you should know always is math module. Few functions in that you need to learn. And user dependent modules in the specified path and in other path. If you do it in other path, you need to add the path. And if you make any change in any of the module, you need to reload the module. Other than restarting the shell. You can restart the shell, import it again, it will work. But without restart. Yes, uh, someone had a doubt. Yes, yes. How much was the doubt? So we need to append that path. Okay, one minute. What do you are saying? Path. Huh. Each time we are putting any different path, not in default path. You need to keep adding. Appending each time. Yeah. Okay. That path should come. Now it was here, so you added. Next time I have, I have put it in E drive. So I added uh, where it is. Happened. Uh, uh, here. I added here. You use another path, you, add, you need to load it, I mean, append it every time. Okay. Now last question. I will restart the shell. Hmm? I have restarted the shell. I will import this. And I will access this. Which all paths will come? E drive will come?
when you restart the shell this will get initialized to its default now here there is no need there why you have restarted the shell restart means what where is the whatever is the default condition your system comes to default condition the new things what you have done won't get reflected that's the main so now if you have to run the same modules here this one or this one again you need to add the path so whenever you will restart you need to add the path Yeah, yeah, that's temporary because this is input variable object. Okay. It's input. It is holding some already input path, so that is going to be temporary always. Okay. But this is not temporary, no. It's holding those paths every time. Okay. Only what you add will be temporary. How long is the class duration? What? How long is the class duration? I didn't get you. What? This class duration. Today, now class duration. Yes. Yes. Another five ten minutes more. Right? Okay. 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 Okay, coming to the last topic, I mean here, it's packages. Okay, so what is module? Collection of function like that. What is package? It is collection of modules. That means you should. Package means it's collection of modules. Module is collection of function objects like that. Package is collection of modules. In simple words. Packages, yeah. in simple words, packages now modules. You can simply call it as a folder. It's or as a yeah, folder. In Linux, if you take, it's going to be as a directory. That means, assume now I'm closing this. Here, I'll create a new folder. Is this a package now? Huh? Is this a package? Not exactly. That is what will be the difference if you have to say this is a folder and a package. In every package, there comes. A default file folder containing there should be a specific file. What is that file? Init dot file. Only then it will be that folder will be called as a package. Understand? Now we open this folder. Is there an init file? Init dot file. Is there a Python file called as init? No. Then this is not a package. It's simply a folder. Okay. Now I will create a package. New folder. I will give the name as pack one. I will open it. Right now there is no uh, file. Which file do we need? Init dot py. How to create that file? You should go here. New file. Where you will save it? Because that folder you want to make it as package here. What should be the file name? You cannot change the file name also. Underscore underscore in it underscore underscore. This should be present. You write anything in it or leave it. Create it and leave it. Now open this. There is a file. So now pack one is a package. So here. It will be. It's folder. 
underscore underscore what folder can be protected because contents are private folder any folder containing this file what is py means is a module so it should contain this module or a file you can say that will be called as a package in python now this is a folder so we cannot work with this in python languages so if it is a package can you import the package like how you imported the module same way you can import the package also but right now i didn't create this package in the default directory i created somewhere else so right now it won't be possible again you need to add the path all that should happen so now let's create one package only i will show you that the rest continuation will do in next class so what i will do is first create a package in default path and what is package it is a collection of sub packages also that means a folder in that folder you can have sub packages means all those should have the main file it's not that main package has the file others no no then those will be only folders so it can have sub packages and modules modules kids files only not be by so now what i will do i will create a package in default path where was the path it was here this is the default path usually which we get we will do that so what name i will give mm -hmm. i will write any name you can give only first create a outline then we will i will say this this is the main package in which i will create sub packages as land animals forest animals water something okay and which is a sub package i will need to find any question a module oh sorry yeah in land which is a sub package i will define i will define one module what's the module what will be called i'll define one module okay in forest which is another sub package i will define another module and in water which is another sub package i will define module or three not Two modules I can define. Any number you can define. Just I am saying. What is there inside this module? Module means its collection of functions. Those will define it directly there. So we we'll just follow this and create this much. What I should do? A main package called as animals, where it should be in the default path. Okay. So with this directly i can create a module right so but, but first i want a folder to get get created so i'm just closing all of this i will take that path i just copy it and i go to this i will paste that here give enter so that that path will come if you simply uh, like go to c drive and find for this it won't come So do that. Here, what you wanted to do? You wanted to create one package. What the name? Animals. Are you understanding or no? Understanding or no? Okay. So I'll create a folder first. What should be the folder name? Animals. Now I should make it as a package. That means in this, in it module should come. 
it is the package here i have not mentioned it anywhere but you should keep in mind so that means in this first there should come one py file called as underscore underscore in it underscore underscore so how to do that open ideally try to create a new file save it when you save it comes here now you want to save it in any what should i say underscore underscore in it underscore underscore dot py comes by default what do you want to write don't i don't want to write anything done now tell me is animals a package or not now animals is a package how there is a file first step done first step done inside this three sub packages land forest water so i will create land i should make it as a package now it is sub package so how to make it as a sub package here you should create that file so create it in animals in land check in land it's there how many such i want three packages are there sub so i should create them what is the second one forest in this also i need create control n shortcut will come to open a new where it should be not in land now i want it in forest one more okay so create one more one i should do it in water i create in water done check till here it is done till here done what all done in some default bar main package animals package is approved three sub packages done what i wanted to do inside this will do in next class not now tomorrow next monday yes so in monday 9 o'clock what you should be doing that uh, lab session this you can leave because i have not completed it this you should be doing create your own modules in system part define and other parts add them make the changes reload them and all the previous assignments you should complete yesterday i gave you the time still some of you have not done so monday you should be doing then only come to class seven day yes you this so this continuation we do monday okay yes yes any doubt no i have sent you this ppt already module ppt yes sir yes sir so you can refer that for some theory okay so we we'll continue in monday session thank you thank you Thank <laughs> you.